the Black Cab, an English institution revered the world over for its elegance, style and its driver, the great British cabbie. London cabbies are at the top of their game. It takes them years to learn what's known as the knowledge. They have to memorise every inch of our nation's capital. That's 25,000 streets and 60,000 points of interest. They are the ultimate satellite navigation machine. So what happens when we replace three London cabbies with three celebrities? With their cabbie mentors to guide them, the celebs have got just two months to learn central London. The question is, who can master the knowledge? It's been a month since Janet Street Porter, Jeff Brazier and Carol Thatcher were set the task of memorising central London. You will be expected to know every street, every road. They've all passed their cabby driving tests. You've driven into the car in front. No, I didn't know it was a car, did well, I? Is. Been out with their mentors. Carol, Carol Thatcher? Yes. Ah, right. And had a real taste of being a London black cab driver. No, 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 no! No, tell him you can't do that. Yeah, no, all yours. No, Courtney, there you are, all yours. And all the way through, Janet has been top of the class. He gave me ten pounds. Whoa. Because he was so pleased how quickly I did it. Our rookie cab drivers are now halfway through memorising central London. By now, they should be very familiar with the knowledge zone. An area that stretches from Hoban in the north all the way to Victoria train station in the south. This week, we have lined up some very interesting passengers for our trainees. But now, it's time for the celebrities to go back to school and discover how much progress they've made. Over the last week, I haven't had a chance to do any work at all. I have been in Central America for the last two weeks, where, um, which was not conducive to learning up the A to Z. I am in cars going around Central London. <laughs> but I'm not actually studying. At least one of the students appears to be taking it seriously. I was finding it very hard just looking at the A to Z and not really knowing what the streets were or, you know, I obviously didn't have a, a visual of where these places were, so I thought the best thing to do on recommendation was to go and get a moped. Jeff's putting in the time. But Janet's still confident she makes a better cabbie. I was born in central London, I went to college in central London, I went to school in central London, I've worked in central London from the age of 18. I still live in central London. I've got an account with a black cab company. Janet, does it mean you're going to know these 48 runs that we're meant to learn? No, you're trying to be cockier than me. And it's not going to work, I've Jeff. done two days on a moped. That's my progress so far. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. What have you been doing? I've been in Central America, where I didn't pour over Did the you take your rate <laughs> No. And listen to this. The knowledge says 70% of all applicants for the knowledge actually fail to gain a licence. Yeah. I'm very unpromising raw material to be a cabbie. And actually, I wouldn't get in a taxi driven by anyone like me. Right. Uh, would no. you get in a cab driven by me, Carol? Yes. Yes, Janet, I would. I'm looking forward to it. Mm. OK, folks, apparently there's another lesson. Follow me. The Knowledge Point Cabby School is the oldest and largest of its kind. A quarter of all existing black cab drivers have been trained here. It's in classes like this one that people from all backgrounds come to learn the streets of London. Enter Derek, the Knowledge Master. Okay, good morning everybody. Good morning. Good morning. First on the agenda, is what is expected of the students when they come to be tested on their knowledge. It's not an exam, it's not a test, it's an appearance. They are looking how you appear. So gentlemen, jackets buttoned, ties fully done up, no half mask ties, no cleavages. We're disqualified. Cleavage. No short skirts. Even if you'd like some cleavage, Janet, you're not allowed to show it, okay? But Derek, when, they go, when you go and do this appearance and you look like that, I have never been in a f cab driven by anyone who looks like you. You've never been in my cab. 
So, Derek, you mean you go they out ask, looking like yes, that? Yes, I do, and so do well, seven other taxi drivers. Look at all these drivers. gentlemen and ladies behind me. They've got to invest in a bloody smart suit. Because yes, they certainly. probably haven't bought one already, because look, they haven't. <laughs> They've got to buy a suit for this junky 10-minute piece yes, of you know. You're not easily offended, are you, folks? Yeah. <laughs> In a month's time, the students will be expected to recite any route to and from anywhere in central London. I will warn you, you will be extremely nervous. OK? If you don't know the point that the examiner is asking you, you simply tell him, sorry, sir, I don't know that point, and he will ask you another point. So who's done their homework? OK. Janet. Yes. Yeah. Madam Jojo's Club to the Ivy Restaurant. I presume you've been there. Yeah. So you go... Uh, no, you go. don't go anywhere. You oh, leave right. on the left, but you're not going to come oh, out Oh, no, there. but I'm going to go down Dean Street to get back onto Shaftesbury Avenue. Well, if you go all the way down Dean Street, we'll have a pile-up, because the bottom part of it is one way. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh hang on. Right, Carol. Yes? Pay attention, please, Carol. Yes, I am to the map. Japanese Embassy to Hamley's Toy Shop. Which is in Without a map, please, Carol. Which is in Regent Street. Without a map, Carol. What? Without a map. <laughs> Well, you go along Piccadilly, keep going round Eros until you've had enough of it, and go up Regent Street and Hamlet is on the right. It's not looking good for our students, but maybe Jeff's moped journeys have paid off. Jeff, where's the Soho Theatre? I don't know that point, sir. Sorry. OK, let's move on to another point. Where's the Prince Edward Theatre? I don't know that point, either. OK. Where's the Scargo Restaurant? I don't know that point. You don't know a lot of points in Soho, Jeff, do you? Surely you must have learnt something. Take me from the Dorchester Hotel to the Astoria Theatre. Right, um, start on Park Lane, left Stanhope Gate, left Deanery Street, forward Hill Street, comply with Berkeley Square, lead by Bruton Street, forward Conduit Street, left Regent Street, right Great Marble Street, forward Knoll Street, right Berwick Street, left Darbley Street, left Wardour Street, right Holland Street, right Great Chapel Street, left Fairham Street, Right Dean Street, left Carlisle Street, comply with Soho Square, forward Sutton Row, on the left hand side. You're a genius! Yeah. You, you genius star! Yeah. <laughs> 21 out of 10. And for the most useless student, there's a special award. One of the things we do traditionally at the end of every class is we present the Mini Cab Cup, yeah. okay? to the student who we feel has taken us on a bus tour of London. Carol, would you like to come out oh, so yes, I can I'd present you with a mini cab yeah. cup? Absolutely delighted. <laughs> well done, thank you. Won't be able to get much in it, will I? Well, you don't get much in a mini cab anyway, do you? <laughs> <laughs> this is the mini cab cup, which I was presented with by Derek this morning for being the lousiest pupil, complete dance, wrong way down a one-way street, unable to find Piccadilly Circus and everything else. With the lesson over, it's time for our students to have a one-on-one -on -one with the Knowledge Master. OK, right, Jeff, we're halfway through our project. My view is that what you've learnt, you've learnt very, very well. You probably haven't quite learnt enough, which you've identified that yourself. What you've learnt, you know, which is very, very important and very positive. Derek's fairly, um, fairly accurate with what he said, really. You know, I need to up my game a little bit. It's come to halfway and I've not really done much. You know, it's all well and good that I've gone and got a moped and stuff, but there's no point in the moped sitting indoors. It's, it, you know, I need to be on it and I need to be in London. Come in, Janet. Take a seat. Thank you, Derek. OK, I've called you in here today. Um, we're sort of halfway through our task now. How do you think you're doing? Well, I know I'm winning. I thought you might say that. I think that when I'm in the cab, I hate to say this, Derek, I think I'm a natural cab driver. But Derek's not convinced. You have to know the names of the streets. I can visualise driving it. Janet, okay. by now you should have learnt to call the street names and use the protocol that we apply to the knowledge. What is it about Derek? See, when I was at school, my reports always said Janet's uncontro uncontrollable behaviour, over boisterous, lacks discipline. And someone like Derek, he just brings that all out in me. After her poor display in class, it's now Carol's turn. 
you don't seem to be making that good of a progress. I haven't made any progress. I've been in Guatemala and Belize for the last fortnight. I think you're going to have to spend a little bit more time on the knowledge and a little less time in the sun, Carol. Oh, thank you, Derek. Now, that's the right little ticking off, isn't it? Okay, it I think is. I was born to be driven, Derek. I just want to point that out. OK, well, if you're going to complete this assignment and learn part of the knowledge, um, I think you're going to have to be the driver rather than the driven, Carol. I'll uh, let you get on with okay, your work. Please close the door on your way out. I'll do that. After a day in the classroom, the students will now have to take a passenger to their destination in the most direct manner possible. The only thing is, the customers won't just be members of the public, they'll be some of the most testing people we could lay our hands on. How will they cope? Find out in part two. You are! You are! You are! Earlier, our three celebrity knowledge students went to cabbie school. And it became evident that some knew more than others. Without a mat, please, Carol. Which is in region three. Without a mat, Carol. What? <laughs> Without a mat. <laughs> it's now time for the celebs to find out about this week's challenge. You will be given a journey to undertake mm -hmm. with some very interesting passengers. It's quite important that you maintain your focus of attention on the journey, that you don't lose sight of where you're going to and that you remain aware of other road users. Each celebrity is en route to Holborn Tube Station and will be tested on how directly they travel to the London Library on St James's Square. As usual, their mentors will be following in the car behind. So, what mystery passengers await? I think the worst passengers that could ever pick up would be Jeremy Clarkson, I can't stand him, and John McCrurick, I loathe the man. So who will it be? It's horse racing expert. John McCruick. Oh my God, it's you! Well, get I over can't it! Believe it! Just get over it! God! Hey, where, you, where, where would you like to go, sir? Well, the London Library. You won't be able to get it right for a start. Well, they told me it was either you or Carol Thatcher. I begged them for Carol Thatcher. What have okay, I got with you? Okay, it's 14 St James's Square. Oh, very clever. Trying to impress us, are you? Well, I'm sorry, I know where it is. Well, you're making the kind of mess you made up in your previous career. Don't mess me up today. Um, I'm ignoring that. Good. With Janet on her way, it's Jeff's turn to find out who will be in the back of his cab. It's TV host Vanessa Feltz. Sir, how are you? You alright? Don't right. get me late, okay? I will not. Alright, I want to go to the London Library if that's alright. And where is that? You're the cab driver, you should know. And I've been doing it two minutes. I'm so not can telling you. you. Oh, Vanessa, come on. As Jeff struggles with his destination, it's Carol's turn. But after a poor display in class, she's not happy about taking the wheel. Come on, you've got to pick yourself up. Okay. I, was, I was born to be driven, man. Yes. This is not the iron lady I expect, the young iron lady, come on. I'm not the young iron lady, I travel on the tube, man. Please, one knee, one knee, oh, Missy. Get, get <laughs> With her mentor on his knees, Carol finally agrees to take the driving seat and wait for her passenger. It's conservative politician Anne Widdicombe. Ah, oh. excellent. Anne, Anne. 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 How do you feel better? But Carol still doesn't want to drive. Come on. Oh, my dear, come on. You okay. can't do this to me. You will not drive our lovely lady. We can have a proper yarn. I'd like some political junk. Your friend. I love this. This is though. not cricket. This is very good cricket. This we like, cricket. We like to go. The meter's running. She's, she's, she's seen her friend, the great Mrs. Whittacombe, and she's gone old. 
Yeah, she refuses to drive. No, I, I'm just going to have How are things? We lost, I lost saw you huh. on a call centering at the Prince's Trust. So with Carol in the back, they head to their destination. Across town, Janet's trying to concentrate on her route to the London Library. Aren't you impressed with my first little shortcut? Well, I live in London, but I don't understand the way around here. My wife, the booby, does all the driving. As it's rush hour, Janet's decided to take John to his destination via the quiet streets of Covent Garden. You're avoiding the Strand, so that's your excuse to I'm charge me more. I'm going the most direct road. Meanwhile, Jeff's heading in the right direction, but isn't quite sure where the London Library is. But there's no time to think when there's a talk show host in your cab. Are you, are you at all able to enjoy it? Because, I mean, it's a beautiful day out there. It's the hottest day in London so far this summer. Are you, are you able to sort of take in the lovely bits or not really? It's a, it's a wonderful day. Are you starting to feel some kind of understanding of the trials and tribulations of a cab driver's life? Because it's not an easy life, actually. Um, Do you keep finding you're stuck in traffic? I went out with Caesar from Big Brother for lunch the other day. With Courtney at the wheel, Carol seems more relaxed. But MP Anne isn't impressed. I thought the whole idea of this programme was that you were going to be a professional cabbie. No, well, the thing is, I gave up driving in London when they introduced the congestion charge. Right. That's, that's the point where it became much easier to drive in London. No, I'm a tube person, and I was, oh, born, and I was born to be driven. You won't be surprised to hear. No, I don't think I am. I really thought you was going to drive just now when you saw Anne get in the cab. Why should I drive Anne when I can sit and talk to Anne? Yes, but I wanted to sit and talk to her. And Carol's not the only one in the hot seat. You won't remember, but I remember, and I don't forget, 25 years ago... Yes? ...the Six O'Clock Show. You were on the panel, and I came on in a pilot show. And you threw one of your normal hissy fits. Oh, I'm not working with him, refuse to work with him, talking that's rubbish. And that was what you were like, an absolute rubbish. I can't believe you've harboured a grudge all these years. I can't harboured a grudge, because you're such an unpleasant person. Everybody who works with you despises you. Well, one knows you've been married four or five times, you've ruined the lives of hundreds of men, don't ruin mine. <laughs> Jeff's managed to get near the library, but his lack of knowledge is about to show. OK, Miss Feltz, where's your library? Quick. I don't know, you're the driver, I've no idea where I'm going. Right, we might do a lap of this. In the car behind, his mentor is watching. Come on, Jeff, come on, Jeff. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, where's the London Library? I'll be going through the traffic all <laughs> <laughs> London Library. That's not it. No. After five minutes of searching, Vanessa's had enough. Let's call this it. This is fine, because I can see it from here. Is it in front of us? It's behind us. Can I get out? Can you let me out? Jeff didn't quite find his destination, but he avoided most of the traffic on the way to St James's Square. So how close was his fare? Well, is that how much it, it should yeah. be? Probably about five up. Seven, Seven quid. Oh, wow. Ah, well done. Yeah, so we've gone the right way, it. yeah. You went the right way. You've spot on. With Courtney in control, Carol is still finding excuses for not driving. Actually, my mother taught me to drive, and during, the, during my practice lessons, her hand would hover over the handbrake. Yeah, <laughs> well, I think, I think we've all been through that with our parents, haven't we? Yeah. So Dennis didn't teach you? No, Dennis, Dennis preferred golf. Anne arrives at London's oldest library in good time, but she's still disappointed. I'm just so sorry you weren't sorry. driving me. That's I'm going to get the money because... You're getting the money because Carol Chicken and I. I thought Anne Whittacombe was absolutely charming. Much better to be driven by Courtney than by me. Carol is doing what a lot of people has done. Fallen by the wayside. Well, I now know how to get from wherever we started from, sort of Kingsway roundabout, to the London Library. We, we trolled along the Strand. Courtney um, reminded me the names of the clubs in Pall Mall. Hmm, yes. You know, a little bit more knowledge, drip, drip. From trying to motivate her, I'm trying to get her going, and it seems like the knowledge has got to her. On the other side of town, John's still settling old scores. You called me repulsive in the Today newspaper, I've heard of lots of people as well, and you shrieked out, you are, 
are, you are, you are, you shrieked. That was you. What cheat calling me repulsive? You sound like you on of all people calling anyone repulsive. Have you ever looked at yourself? Have you ever listened to yourself? That's what repulsion is. The Do vilest you know, form. I am just not letting this get to me. And others are being dragged into the fray. Can you believe I've got that John McCrimmick in the back of my cab? Oh God, will you stop going on? Moaning about me driving him, I've done the most perfect route from Holborn to here, and he has to stop moaning. He's got every right to moan. Yeah. I know, look what I've got, this damn thing in the car, look at it. Would you get in a cab with a street walker? Would you do that? Would you get in a cab with that creature? Well, I'm landing with it. Finally, the journey ends. London Library. God, right. Well done here, I suppose. Thank you. Say well done. Open the door, woman. I can't get out. I don't know how. I want to get out of this damn place. Get away from you. How much do I owe you? What I've decided is to give you the cab fare back and give you that for nothing to make up for being horrible to you all those years ago Aren't and just to wonderful. show you I'm a sweetheart. Aren't you wonderful? Oh, don't overdo it! <laughs> oh, I love the streetwalker. I've got a score out of the streetwalker. What a wonderful girl she is. Close the No, don't go in with her. Don't go in with her. I, I beg you. You want to live a little longer. All bye right, bye, streetwalker. Bye, darling. Well done. Yet Thank again, you. an absolutely excellent route by well done. What was on the clock? Six, six, nine. I knew it. I knew it. Now, this in the envelope is what Derek says the fair should have gone. Yes. And having seen how the street walker did it, she's big odds on. I go double carpet, 33 to 1 on that the street walker wins. John McCrick gave me odds of 33 to 1 to win this. Doesn't that just show you what a completely crap racing commentator he is? I, I've never ever had a passenger like that. I've got to say, if he'd have been in my cab talking to me like that, he'd have been out before we'd gone 200 yards. There's no two ways about it. He'd have been out walking. You've got to say Janet handled it so, so well. Imagine if you were landed for 15 minutes with Janet Street Porter! Next time, after passing this week's challenge, will Jeff keep up the pace? And will Carol have the courage to drive again? For Animal Hour tonight on Sky Travel, two trips to the zoo in Auckland, where a chimp learns to communicate with his keeper at 7.30. Then at 10, meet Tricia, one of many California escorts.